when I graduated from uh, Texas A&M, uh, it was at the tail end of the uh, space uh, space uh, exploration boom, and uh, I went to school all the time thinking I was going to design airplanes and flying saucers and things like that. And, uh, but uh, when I graduated, nobody was, they were not hiring. And uh, so uh, uh, ARCO and a number of oil companies were interviewing on campus. So I thought, well, I don't know anything about the oil industry, but uh, let me try it anyway. And uh, well, it, uh, it was a series of ple very pleasant surprises that uh, they interviewed me and uh, hired me. All advice for a young professional graduating out of uh, college. Um, all industry is a great place to work. And uh, uh, it's, it's very much technology driven. And it, uh, as versus what a lot of people think, it involves technology on all fronts that you can think of, not just petroleum engineering or, you know, or just building a piece of uh, iron for a rig or something like that. It's, it's vastly, vastly much more complicated than that. So I think that's a great opportunity for a technology application. Well, I guess uh, probably one of the most significant uh, challenges in my professional life was uh, when I got laid off by a com the company that I was working for for 24 years, um, the implication to a person, a professional, in that kind of situation is that you're not needed anymore. And that can be quite a hit on your self-esteem. Um, I think in situations like that, one need to, instead of kind of dwelling on the misery of it, is to regroup and think about now, how, what, what is this situation trying to tell me? Or if you're a person that believes very on the spiritual side, say, what's God trying to tell me? And uh, what that led me to, to, to realize is that, wait a minute, the, the world is looking for experienced technical professionals to help solve problems. That's what they need, more of them, uh, tons more of them. They don't need more managers. So once I uh, accomplished that realization, then my scope of job search widened very much and uh, resulted in a, a series of very enjoyable consulting jobs. Um, so uh, I guess the, uh, the moral story is, you know, Think about what the world really needs you for, and go for and go for it. Uh, and it may not always be what you think uh, you should be doing. I think uh, Arctic operations. And I don't mean Arctic on at Prudhoe Bay on land. I'm talking about drilling in ice-infested waters or ice-bound waters. Uh, Another one is um, continuing challenge in deep water technology. Uh, I think the uh, drilling part is, is pretty much uh, well along, but the production part, it, it's, you know, we haven't produced 10,000 feet of water yet, I don't think, but we'll have to. Uh, and then, um, not everybody may realize that, but HPHT operations, high pressure, high temperature, uh, it's going to be a challenge. Um, it, as a result of the recent uh, McConto incident, I think there has been uh, a very uh, uh, significant increase in the level, the, uh, level of, uh, of awareness in terms of uh, well control. Uh, particularly in the um, uh, contingency planning uh, uh, and as well as preventive uh, aspect of it. Um, so we are seeing an unprecedented 
uh, level of uh, these activities in our in our uh, company and certainly in our industry. Uh, everything from uh, uh, well planning using kick simulations to uh, relief well designed dy blowout and dynamic kill simulation. Uh, pre-spot meeting seminars where we are actually showing all these simulations and describing the results to everybody down to the assistant, assistant driller, which I think is a great uh, approach. Actually, we've been kind of advising that for some time, pretty much, pretty much condo.